The prophet Isaiah said, Woe to those who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Woe to those who call good evil and evil good. Woe to those who put bitter for sweet. Woe to you, President Obama. Listen to his speech, his closing remarks, friends, and pray for his soul and pray, pray, pray that this country wakes up before it's too late. As long as we've got a fight to make sure women have access to quality, affordable health care, and as long as we've got to fight to protect a woman's right to make her own choices about her own health, I want you to know that you've also got a president who's going to be right there with you, fighting every step of the way. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you. Are you hearing that? He has said, I've got your back. I'm going to fight with you to keep killing babies. And then he has the unmitigated, brazen godlessness to say, God bless you. God bless America. While the blood of these babies is crying out from the ground for vengeance. In this closing minute, you're going to see some of the babies who have been murdered by Gosnell and in Planned Parenthood abortion mills. And again, I warn you, there's some, there's some very sad pictures coming up. And again, I say to you, if you don't know Christ as your Savior, turn to Him and receive forgiveness so that you can be reconciled with your baby in heaven. Some of these babies you are now seeing were pulled from dumpsters outside of Planned Parenthood. These babies that Gosnell murdered in cold blood and Planned Parenthood says that if this baby is born alive, it's up to the doctor and the woman to choose what to do with this baby. This is a grave evil. And God said in Isaiah chapter 1 that he would not hear the prayers of his people because they were covered with blood. So God, or rather Obama's invocation that God bless America is not only empty rhetoric and hollow evil, it borders on blasphemy to invoke the name of God to bless the shedding of innocent blood. God save us. God forgive you, Obama.